Hey, Boone, we have a dress code here. We have a dress code here and you're violating it. Not only do we assemble knives, but we also assemble Apex Pro Electric bikes. Generally, we like to clean them up after each use, but that's okay. So that's Josh's bear blood from Canada, hunting with Dudley. Knock on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, you said you got it to 32? Mm -hmm. How? Because I was hitting this and it wasn't uh, shifting. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, this. Oh, you left out the boost mode on so, me. I like my race car. All right, so Marv, you can kind of tell them. What, what, when, did I, when did I make this for you? Probably like 14, 16 years ago. Six? Yeah. Probably 2006 Back or when so. Josh was just building knives out of his uh, shop. Uh, that was before your place burned down. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it was probably 2006 or seven, and then, and actually, it's funny because that looks like a Blackfoot. Yeah. Um, you can kind of see that's my, kind of was my custom, yeah. custom style. So. Uh, and I couldn't tell you how many elk I have done with that. I know last year I did three elk and two deer. I I love seeing them like this because it means they've been out. Uh, be in use. So I'm gonna go clean a little rust off of it for him and sharpen it. And perfect size. Desert iron wood handle. I do not yeah. like a big long knife. Those are perfect to do anything with. So. Hey Brandon. That does look like a Blackfoot. I mean, that <laughs> might be the original Blackfoot. Times back then, like to me, that was like all you needed for a hunting knife. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go clean some rust off of it. So Marv stopped by here with a custom knife of mine from 2000, probably seven or eight, somewhere in there. But we, I thought it was pretty cool. This was years before I actually drew up the, the Blackfoot in 2019. But as you can kind of see the similarities here, this is kind of always what I made for hunting knives. I think it's a great little design. And if I play the, place those on each other, it's wild because I definitely did not have this uh, when I drew up the Blackfoot. Minus a little bit of a guard here on the Blackfoot, these are basically identical. So this is a desert ironwood handle. Obviously with the G10 and stuff, it's a little bit more stable and whatnot. But this one's held up really well through a bunch of a bunch of elk. It's also why we parkerize our blades because obviously with the carbon steel, it gets a little rust on it. To me, you can just tell that uh, Marv's been using it, which that that was what was intended. So pretty cool. Well, John Hayes brought my Texas deer uh, up here. He just got done mounting it. This was the deer that got down there when we went uh, last year with the Nosler folks. It was just a really fun hunt Brandon and I went on and uh, gave it to John and asked him for a pedestal mount and told him it needed to look left. And that's about all the direction I gave him. That's and, the best uh, direction. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know from making custom knives, it's the worst when people try to like put everything into it that they want and they try to basically design it. So I gave him free reign and uh, John knocked it out of the park. This is uh, amazing. The, the pedestal is just as amazing as the deer. Um, all the work that he did on the wood and the cactus and the rock. Uh, it's fake rock, but he did an unbelievable job of making it look real. So it's pretty cool. I forgot he's got a little little bend. A little bend there. And a squiggly egghead. I've never seen a smaller deer. 
than the one Josh just put in our office. <laughs> See little one. Uh, where's yours? Yo. Yo, dude, what's up? Well, first of all, uh, don't mind the office. Just moved in uh, down to Missoula this week. I've been working up at the Flathead uh, for the past like three years, running all the marketing and stuff like pretty much out of my house and out of a small office. Um, but finally made the move down. My wife, three kids, um, all, all now, everyone's under one roof now uh, for Montana Knife Company, which is awesome. Um, so right now we are shooting the brand new red filet knife. Uh, we're gonna get this on the website today to preview. It goes live on Thursday. So speaking of this filet knife, let's give this away to someone um, who likes this video, comments, and then also signs up for our newsletter. Henry will figure out how to get it to you somehow. You know, and everyone's asking like, why are we adding a color to the filet knife? And that's pretty simple. It's the, you know, we're finding a lot of people are using them in the kitchen. And you know, right now we have a culinary set that's black, orange and black, and we also have the red. Um, we have filet knives that match the rest of the sets, except for the red. So now, if you've purchased a red culinary set, you can finally have a red filet knife. 